This tutorial is going to walk you through how to perform one of the more basic Microsoft Word functions, which is to uh, run spell check on a document. Uh, I made uh, three different spelling mistakes on this document. I'm going to show you two different ways that you could correct those. Uh, Word is very good about making uh, of really filtering all the words you're typing in and giving you instant feedback if you make a spelling mistake and as you can see in these three spots it underlined these in red and so it instantly lets you know this is not a word that was picked up in the dictionary uh, that doesn't always mean that it's a wrong word if I spelled my own last name in here it would say that it was spelled incorrectly and I'd have to say to ignore it when going through the process of spell check uh, there are two ways to do it. Uh, one is to simply click on the word and do it, uh, perform a right click on the word. And as you'll see, it gives you a list of potential items that you can uh, switch out. And so I could click on principles, which is the one I wanted, and it would make that change. And now you can see it's no longer underlined in red. The other way you can do it is by coming up here to the uh, ribbon menu and clicking on the review tab coming over to spelling and grammar and you'll see right over here uh, in if you have an older version of word this will be a pop-up window right in the center of the page but right here it brings up on the right hand side and you can see that it brings up the first word highlights it and gives you a spelling uh, suggestion in this case it is correct so we want to change that from the incorrect way to spell manufacturer to manufacturer uh, with a um, uh, which you know brings in the correct word click change and it changes it and it automatically goes the next one you can see is material and this one has a few other items it could be uh, the first suggestion is the one that uh, that we wanted and so you simply click uh, you don't have to click on it auto highlights it click change and here you go. It says that the spelling grammar check is complete and you are good to go. Uh, as you're going through the document, you'll find that just simply highlighting it, the word, and right clicking it gives you a few other options in addition to spell check. You can also come down to synonyms and this can give you a list of additional words. You don't have to worry about going through a thesaurus or anything like that. Click here and I could change manufacturing to industrial or engineering or something in that side of the world. Uh, it works very well with adjectives. Click on robust right here. Right click, go to synonyms. You could say healthy, vigorous, hearty, strong, tough, forceful, uh, it's a really good way of being able to add uh, better sounding adjectives or possibly ones that fit better in your document and all you'd have to do is click out click on one of them and it auto replaces it right in uh, right in there uh, the other thing you can use uh, these type of text tools for is to uh, get find the meaning of the word so uh, say that you have a word that you don't quite understand or you want to get further detail on you right click on it click on define and then Microsoft Word will look, go through uh, most likely a web dictionary and find exactly what it means. Um, you could choose to download it and you can see you have uh, several different versions that you could pick from, whether it's the Merriam-Webster dictionary or regular English one. Uh, all three of these are free and can give you uh, some great uh, dictionary tools and save you the trouble of having to look through the web form. But that's, uh, that's how to use some of the text tools like Spellcheck, the thesaurus tool, and the dictionary. Please let me know if you have any other questions.